Yo, what's up, guys? Um, today, I just want to talk about two things that I found. And this first thing I found is actually a new way to start the round uh, going to the double tap trap. And it saves about 10 seconds. And it doesn't seem like much, but um, when it adds up, it actually ends up saving a lot of time. So maybe like 10 minutes total if you do this every round. But um, as you can see here, you just want to put three boards on this window two would work too but um you're just gonna want to start in power instead so this is gonna be much faster since the furthest spawn is the one in power so you're not actually having to wait for the one back all the way in kitchen you're not having to wait for that one to instead they're all in front of you but at the same time it's pretty safe as you can see here I get the whole hood pretty easily and the only problem with this is actually getting to this window in time and um, if you know it's the end of the round, you can just board it up while you're going to the kitchen trap. That's only if you know that it's the end of the round, but that's kind of hard to predict sometimes. So, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty hard to pull off just by having to, like, guess. Or, uh, another way you can use this is at the end of an insta round, so... You know, it's it's going to be hard going all the way from speed color trap to board that window and getting back to power in time. So, yeah, that's the only problem with this. But if if there's a certain scenario where you can use this, I would suggest using it. So, yeah, uh, that's it. That's all I want to talk about for that. So, the next thing I want to talk about is actually a new way I discovered to deal with the double tap or speed color window zombie. Or bar window, as some people call it. And um, basically, the normal way you deal with this zombie is whenever you, um, whenever you pull the trap, you look over, and you see one's there. You normally stall it with the MP40, or you can do it the way that Suya does, and I think he brings it to like the corner kind of, and then goes around. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, that's that's the way some people do it. Mainly, I've seen Slayer doing it, but um, the way I found actually is. You can see here, um, after I'm coming through to the catwalk area, I look over, and if there's a zombie there, like there is here, you actually do an extra cutback or stall a little bit longer to, you know, guarantee that that zombie's not going to be at the window by the time you're pulling the trap. And, yeah, it's pretty easy, actually. Um, there was only, I did this during my entire 116 game, and... Yeah, it was pretty easy. Only had one scenario where it was kind of close, but it's much easier than actually dealing with the window zombie. Much safer, and it, you don't really lose. M you lose barely any time. It's insignificant. So, um, yeah, I, I would suggest doing this. But um, if you want to keep doing it the other way, by all means, go ahead. But I would seriously suggest this way. And you don't even have to do this, I'm going to show you here, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but basically, uh, if the zombie's close enough to the window, you don't even have to do an extra cutback or stall longer, you can just do the normal strat and you'll beat the zombie. Um, you might have to rewind there, if you didn't see the dirt kind of under the catwalk, you can see like the, the dirt kicking up, and that means the zombie's spawning there obviously. And if they're spawning there, or like to the left of that I think, and, um, that's a good enough spawn to where you can just keep doing the normal strat. And yeah, so uh, if you get the lucky enough spawns, then that's really that's really good because you save time, obviously. Although it's an insignificant amount of time because normally when they spawn in the courtyard, that means they're also spawning out of further back near like double tap trap still. So um, whenever you do the extra cutback, it actually allows the strat to be like a normal thing of the strat. Maybe usually when I do this, they're all pouring in the right side, and maybe a few stragglers to the left. So it's it's actually probably it probably works better, honestly. So you might actually even be saving time doing this instead. Sometimes that's if they're far enough back. Like let's say let's say they spawn out of the wall window. That's so annoying. But um, if they spawn out of there, then that is probably going to save you time since you're actually going to end up killing that zombie instead of normally you probably wouldn't kill that zombie so that's probably more worth it to just do like lose like two seconds maybe at most 
and to kill that zombie as well. So, yeah, it's actually, I uh, just want to say it's more worth it sometimes to do this than to not do this for sure. Alright, so that's all I have for this video. If you have anything to say about these things I found, uh, I would love to hear them in the comments, but um, if you have any flaws, anything at all, I'd be glad to hear. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you later.